Hi viewers, Happy New Year and welcome to 2023. My primary assignment is to help eradicate mathematics phobia in the life of every student. For today, I came with a different and a fresh topic. Now, the topic is sets. At the end of my teaching, every student must be able to define sets and then know the forms in which sets exist. Then we look at types of number. Why are we looking at types of number? Because it will really help us when we get to forms of sets. That is listing the element of sets. Okay, we look at types of sets, relationship between sets, Venn diagram, and symmetric difference of sets. Cartesian product of sets will be very beneficial to students in the higher institution. Please don't forget, my video is for students who are preparing for JAM, senior secondary certificate examination, and first level student of any Nigerian university. So please sit tight and watch as I take you through this topic sequentially. It's still your video mathematics tutor, Emmanuel Johnny. Let's go. Welcome back. Let's go straight to what a set is. To say that a set is a collection of well-defined objects. Sets are denoted by uppercase letters. When we say uppercase, that is capital letters. While the elements are denoted by lowercase letters, that is small letters. Okay? The elements or members, in other words, if you don't call it element, you call it members. So the elements or members of a set are separated by commas, enclosed with a coily bracket or brace. I want you to know that this first part of sets is always full of stories and I'm going to do my best to summarize it. So let me summarize this definition. All we're saying is that a set is a collection of well-defined objects. For instance, if you look at your mathematical sets, where you have ruler, pencil, eraser, protractor, and so many things, those are the elements when you open a math set. What you see inside the math set is called the elements or members of that particular math set. You go to secondary school, for instance, you have a set of JS1 students or a set of JS2 students in that particular school. You go to the university, you can say set of 100 level students of that university or a set of 400 level students in that university. So we say that the elements of a set are always well defined. Okay. And we say that they are also denoted by capital letter. In other words, I can say that this is a set A. So sets are denoted by capital letters. And um, this is a bracket. This is a bracket. None of these brackets is acceptable as far as set is concerned. The only acceptable bracket for set is this coily bracket. So is it that you call it a coily bracket or you call it the brace? Coily bracket or you call it the brace. I understand a lot of students have challenge, you know, drawing this bracket. But this is the way I always advise. This is a question mark in English. So you can write this question mark this way, just like something like this. Okay, then you draw it out and bring it down. Very simple, out and down. So this way, the same thing, question mark. A question mark, bring it out. Sorry, question mark, and then drag it down. Question mark and then drag it down. So that can help you to draw the coily brackets. Okay, this is A, B, C. Or I can have set B to be equals to one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So we say that sets are denoted by capital letters and the element of the set A, B, C are the element or members of this particular set. So these elements are separated by commas and then enclosed with a coily bracket. So these are the elements of this set. 
enclosed with a coily bracket. So this is set B, which is this, and then set A, these are the elements of set A. So in summary, sets are denoted by capital letters. The elements are denoted by small letters, separated by commas, enclosed with a coily bracket. That is what a set is. Very simple. Now let's go to the next thing there, which is forms of sets.